ko be in the video. Huh? Hey guys, so I have a really busy day ahead of me. I am officially at peak week for my first show and I want to do a quick video. I posted a video, but I kind of decided I didn't want to kind of redo it. So that's what I'm doing today. And Oksana is going to help without being annoying. Stop. And I just want to kind of go over everything that I've been doing during prep. <laughs> kind of, oof, kind of smush everything together in a quick video. Just so everyone kind of knows what's been going on since I didn't start the first video at the beginning of prep like I wanted to. So I'm going to kind of go through every crunched time that we did. We kind of switched up my diet, switched up my exercises and everything like that. For the first seven weeks of prep, we did it somewhat easily. I had already started counting my macros and worked out six, seven days a week beforehand. So we did something that was kind of easy to transition into. So I wouldn't be dying at the very beginning. At the very beginning, I weighed 128. And that was after about a, a little over a year of working out really, really hard. That's when I first started bodybuilding. So that was a full year and some change of building muscle. And I was right at the beginning of prep. My coach started me doing three days a week. So I cut that basically in half. And that was really hard for me because I was very, very used to working out mostly every day. So that was a very hard transition, but it gave me some time to kind of rest more because I wasn't doing that in the beginning. And during those seven weeks, I was not doing cardio. My food was doing cardio for me. I was dropping weight like I should have, not too fast and not too slow. It actually really surprised me when I weighed myself how much I was losing just from the food. And it truly shows that food, food does do your cardio for you. The very beginning, I was, before prep, I was eating about 1,300 calories. We did a metabolism test at my coach's gym where you basically just put this mask on and you breathe into it. And it basically tells you how much, how many calories your body needs to function. And for my body, it was 1,300 calories, which sounds really, really low, but that's all my body needed. I didn't need more, I didn't need less. And that was excluding cardio. So my profession is cosmetology and I'm on my feet all day, every day, running back and forth. So we did put a Fitbit on me a while ago. And at one point I was walking like, I'm not, I'm not even kidding. I wish I could have screenshotted it before. I walked like seven to 10 miles during like Christmas time and everything. It's kind of slowed down now since school started, but it was ridiculous. So we did not need to do cardio for me because I was basically gonna burn more than I needed to burn. During those seven weeks, I only subbed protein, like a protein powder for one meal. And that's basically what I was doing before. I didn't wanna do two. Every now and then, if it was late, and I just didn't feel like eating and I needed to hit my protein, I would drink a protein shake, but I don't like to do more than two and most of the time I don't like doing more than one, so that worked for me. So moving on to week seven through 11, we bumped up my workouts, which I was so thankful for, and it was up to four days a week, which is it. It's just one more day, but it was better than nothing. And then we added five days of steady state 45 minute cardio. So basically I was doing the treadmill with a little bit of incline and a steady pace. And cardio, I just, I hate you cardio so much. But this was easy for me. Yes, 45 minutes seems like forever because I always need to be doing something. So most of the time when I was doing cardio, we do have like the cinema TV things on the treadmills. So I'd either be watching Food Network channel or I'd be watching like YouTube videos to kind of keep my mind focused on something other than walking for so freaking long. During those weeks, we did start carb cycling. So I'd have three low carb days and three high carb days. That was kind of hard for me. Um, and 
I'll kind of go into it in a second why it was hard. The food wasn't terrible. It was just some things that were going on in my body that I didn't expect to happen. And it made it harder to do carb cycling. During my week 7 through 11, that 7th week I think it was, it might have been a little bit after, I was working out and I was doing abs and I felt something going on. I got off the machine and I see this bulging, who knows what it was, come out of me. Not even kidding, it was that big out the side of me. I freaked out, looked like pulled my tank top up and I had to push it in. And I was, this okay, this is gonna be sad. But I am addicted to Friends, the TV show. And right when that happened, I remembered when Joey was laying on the ground and Chandler walks in to their apartment and he's showing him this thing and he said it was a hernia. So that's immediately what I thought it was. I've never had a hernia before, so it was kind of a guess. And I am so lame for thinking of friends <laughs> when that happened. But I got off the machine, I pushed it in, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna move on to an ex exercise for abs. So I move on, I go over to the area I wanted to go to, I put my stuff down, like my phone and my water bottle and stuff, and it comes out a freaking yen. And that's a new word, a freaking yen. So I push it back in, and I realized I need to stop. So I go upstairs and do cardio, and I was texting my sister, she has her CNA, so I kind of just talked to her about like what was going on, and she misunderstood and thought I was just like, saw a video of someone's hernia coming out, and then she realized she, I was talking about myself. And she said, oh my gosh, you need to call a doctor tomorrow and get an appointment because that could be a hernia. If you keep working out on that, you could get seriously hurt. And I was like, well, I got a show and I'll just be careful. I made sure I wasn't doing anything that, where I was bending over or anything like that. So that it was one full week where it was pathetic workouts, I will tell you. I did not enjoy that week. I liked hardcore workouts and that was just not part of it. I missed work two days, which is very unlike me, but you know when I miss work, I am not feeling good. And the next week I was able to see a surgeon and they told me that they didn't they didn't feel what was going on on my side and I believed them because after a couple of days from it happening I was feeling it and I really didn't feel anything but I have had this bump on the middle of my abs and I didn't know what it was I just thought it was something I didn't haven't learned about but he said that is a hernia he was pushing on it making it hurt <laughs> lovely um but he said that is a hernia. It's not urgent to get it packed or whatever you do, but if you want it done, you can get it done. And now that I know what it is, I do want to get the surgery for it. So I think after my show, once we figure out what's happening after that, whether I'm competing in another show this season or if I'm gonna wait till next season, I probably will get it done. That's what happened there. I've been feeling fine now. So I'm not too worried about it, but it is annoying to look at. And I feel like it's just kind of, when I take progress pictures, it's kind of distracting from everything else, but I'll live. Week 12, which was a couple weeks ago, um, I was continuing to doing four days a week of lifting and five days a week, 45 minutes steady state cardio. And I was continuing to do carb cycling. Um, so there wasn't much changes with that. There was changes in my diet, but there was, I was still continuing to do carb cycling. Um, he made sure that I was doing a digestive enzyme every meal, so I was, everything was going through okay. A probiotic, vitamin C, all that good stuff. Um, I did start using a multi-mineral because I was telling I was, my fingers and my toes were cramping up really, really bad. And I can't have Propel right now because I cut artificial flavors. So, he told me to get a multi-mineral, and I've taken it for two days. I've seen a little bit of a difference, but I know it's going to take a little bit longer. At week 13, which was last week, um, we stopped carb cycling, and I had a diet plan written out for me for every single day. 
and it was a transition between chicken and cod pretty much and eggs so that wasn't that wasn't that fun <laughs> i was going through my time of the month during that week and repetitive meals were just kind of annoying <laughs> but that's okay because it's all gonna be worth it and friday which was two days ago he switched up my diet again and we cut my carbs a good bit again like week 13 um and i basically have a little bit of carbs with my grapefruit in the morning which i have fruit in forever so that was it was good and bad. The one this morning was actually pretty good. It wasn't too bitter or sour or anything. But basically, I have a little bit of carbs with the grapefruit. And then the next time I have carbs, other than vegetables, is my fourth meal, which I have a little bit of sweet potatoes, um, which I have learned to love. And burgers and sweet potato fries, I'm coming for you after the show. So basically, that's all my prep has been. I wanted to kind of crunch everything in. I didn't say that my workouts have been a uh, switch between upper and lower body. So the first beginning when I was working out three days a week, be upper, lower, upper. The next week would be lower, upper, lower. I do work out with my coach one day a week and he was doing like I was switching up, but now I've kind of made it to where he's just doing upper body with me in the past couple of weeks because that's where I feel like I need the most work. Yes, my legs do need work, um, but I was able to pretty much, I can take care of that. But he's able, able to help me and spot me more with upper body. So I thought that was a good idea and he thought so too. So I'm officially peak week and I'm so excited. I have been talking to one girl that is competing in a, the bikini division. I actually met her through Instagram, through a hashtag for the show. And I'm really excited to meet her because she's been so, so sweet, always commenting on my pictures, encouraging me to keep going. And we've been talking a good bit and I'm really excited to meet her. Today I have a photo shoot with an amazing photographer that I saw pictures on Instagram of, of a lot of competitors getting them done with him. And I'm doing that today. So excited because I've never had a photo shoot before and it'll be fun to see, like look back in later years of the progress I've made, because he does incredible pictures. So I'll be able to see everything. So that's what I'm doing today, and I wanted to kind of just do a video of my prep before I went, and I had a super busy day trying to get ready for the show, because I am working Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and I leave Friday and don't come back till Sunday for after the show. But tomorrow I do meet with my coach, and I'm working out with him. He is going to tell me what is going to be happening this week. What I don't think he's switching up my diet. I think he said he's content with what's happening as long as the scale says and my conditioning looks. Okay. So that's what's going to happen and um, I am going to work out. Today I'm just going to do cardio today because I worked out upper body Friday and lower body yesterday. So I'll do upper body on Monday, lower Tuesday, and upper Wednesday, and then I'll be done. I'll be resting until the show. So that gives me a lot more time to kind of get everything together and make sure I haven't missed anything. But the good thing about going down on Friday is I'll be able to put everything out and see if I need to go get anything before the show. And since we're going down on Friday, I'm gonna go pick out me some gluten-free cupcakes and gluten-free donuts for after the show. There's a cupcake place down there that does gluten-free every single day because that's what I have to do for my diet. Not by choice, but by allergies. And they have one different one every single day. So I'm gonna get some Friday and then I'll probably go get my sister and one of my friends to go get me the other flavor on Saturday while I'm on the stage. Well, not on stage because they'll be watching me, but before I get on stage, it's really close to the event um, or the venue. And if there's a good flavor, I might go get them to get one because I know they love me and they'll do it. <laughs> 
So that's what, basically what my video is gonna be like today. And I hope you enjoyed watching. I'll kind of put my Instagram in the down bar um, so you can kind of look at videos, or not videos, but pictures of the show and just my progress as the next couple weeks go on. Cause I do try to put up progress pictures and what I've been eating and stuff like that. I will put that stuff down below. If you don't see it, my Instagram is the Kel, K-E-L underscore zone. Um, and that's basically all I wanted to talk about today. Yes. So I'm so glad that y'all found my channel and are watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I will be back soon for another video. Say bye. Say bye. Bye guys. She likes to be in everything and when look when you push her she's just well you can't see it but she just pushes back like she's not moving she's not gonna move 70 pound pit bull stubborn stubborn